Hello guys, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, we will be seeing about the demodulation of amplitude modulated signals. In the last video, we had seen about square law modulator that is uh, how to generate an AM signal. So, that was modulation part. In this uh, video, we will be seeing how to demodulate that particular signal. I would say that particular AM signal. So, there, there are many ways to demodulate AM signal. The first of that is square law detector. Square law detector. So, the typical block diagram of this is you will be having a non-linear device. and a low pass filter so what you do you fed your pm signal here that is to a non-linear device then after that you pass it to a low pass filter then you will get the required message signal so this is the simple block diagram and uh, everything else is just uh, involves uh, mathematical equations. So we will see what are the set of mathematical equations and uh, how our final message signal looks like. So we all know that our AM signal say V1, V1 will equal to AM signal can be denoted by AC 1 plus KA M of T cos 2 pi of CT. Okay, so this is our uh, amplitude modulated signal. So we pass it to the nonlinear device. So this is V1 and say this is V2. So as we had seen in the last video, V2 is nothing but the output of a non-linear device uh, whose output uh, will look, look like V2 is equal to K1 V1 plus K2 V1 square where K1 and K2 are constants. So next we need to simplify this equation by putting this v1 value here and then we will pass it to the low pass filter we will end up with the message signal so i will show the mathematical equations now so we know that the v1 is equal to ac1 plus ka m of t cos 2 pi of ct and uh, that em signal i have passed it to the Non-linear device. So we all know that the, the, the characteristic of a non-linear device is such that the output of that device will be v2 is equal to k1 v1 plus k2 v2 square. So that I have simplified. So I'll get this big equation. And in the next step, I have done a simple thing. I have used a property that is 1 plus cos 4 pi of ct is equal to 2 cos square 2 pi of ct as you can see this cos square 2 pi of ct is there I have replaced it by 1 plus 4 cos 4 pi of ct that is this one by 2 so it will come to the denominator so I have done same thing for this this term and this term and this term so there are three terms and so we will get 3 1 plus 4 for the first 4 5 ct by 2 terms in the equation. So that signal which we get out of the non-linear device that we pass it to the low pass filter. Okay. This is the identity. So V2 we pass it to the low pass filter and then what next? So we will see that now. 
So what we have done, we have passed the EM signal to the nonlinear device. So we got the nonlinear uh, the signal out of the nonlinear device as a V2. We then pass the V2 signal to the low pass filter. As we all know, low pass filter is a filter which passes only low frequencies but eliminates high frequencies. Say this is our uh, frequency uh, type and this is uh, amplitude. Say this is our low pass filter. Our FC is somewhere here. So we can extend this uh, F axis. So this may be 2 FC, 4 FC, etc. So what we do, we pass V2 signal to a low pass filter. So in that way, what we do, we eliminate the terms which contains FC, 2 FC, 4 FC, etc. That is, we are rejecting the high frequency signals because we only want a message signal. So our message signal is say M of P has only FM signal, FM frequency. So this is our low pass filter. So we pass V2 to the low pass filter. We get V3 signal. So that V3, that is our final output of the square law detector is, it looks something like this, K2, AC square by 2, 1 plus 2KA, M of T. So as an engineer, what you have to look is, the P3 signal that is the output of the low pass filter is directly proportional to M of T that is our message signal. So that's how you end up with the message signal. Using capacitor and all we can eliminate this term. Okay. So by using uh, various techniques we can get our message signal. So that's how you can uh, get a message signal from a amplitude modulated signal using square law detector. Uh, in the next video, we will see few more methods of uh, modulation and demodulation of an amplitude modulated signal. So, till then, please subscribe our channel. Keep visiting. Thank you.